Luke Rockhold says no more bare knuckle fighting, gets badly trolled by Paulo Costa, the richest MMA fighters in the world revealed, and Rafael Dos Anjos and Cody Garbrandt announce fights. Luke Rockhold bit off more than he could chew and ultimately broke a couple of his teeth by signing up to fight Mike Perry at Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship 41. The bout lasted a round and a half as Perry outboxed the former UFC middleweight champion until a solid blow on his chin broke his teeth and Rockhold immediately quit. In a statement after the fight, Rockhold said he wasn't done yet, but he won't take up a bare knuckle fight again. Well, f what can I say? You can check bare knuckle off the list. Some crazy shit. Those little knuckles got me. Square on the front too. Maybe a beard. Maybe a better mouthpiece. It's a good fight. It's a shame it had ended that way. Fuck Mikey, tough bastard. Congrats. Thanks my sponsors, thanks the people. I'm not done. Some gloves would be nice though. Paolo Costa rubbed salt into Rockhold's wounds by mercilessly trolling him on Twitter. Quote, OMG, Luke will have a hard time kissing guys now, but at least he has a hard chin with a toothless mouth. Perry did it again. Boxing is so different than MMA, especially without gloves, dude. Costa didn't stop there. He then posted a doctored picture of himself appearing to be toothless, which he jokingly said was in solidarity with Rockhold. Luckily, Rockhold managed to bag somewhere around seven to eight hundred thousand dollars for his BKFC fight against Mike Perry, so he'll have more than enough to pay for his dental treatments. He surely wishes he was as rich as the following men, however. According to the British news outlet The Sun, these are the five wealthiest mixed martial artists in the world. At number five is former UFC lightweight and welterweight champion BJ Penn, with a net worth of twenty-five million dollars. Unlike most MMA fighters on this list, Penn comes from a wealthy family, so it's no surprise that he has so much wealth. However, he earned quite a lot of money between championship fights and sponsorship deals during his time in MMA. At number four is UFC and WWE superstar Brock Lesnar, who also has $25 million to his name, thanks to his career in WWE and the UFC, where he remains the highest paid heavyweight in history. Lesnar's career earnings in the UFC stand at over $5 million, while he takes more than $5 million annually from WWE. At number three is welterweight GOAT George St. Pierre, who was making millions back when making millions was a dream for MMA fighters. Thanks to his illustrious career as an MMA fighter, during which he was arguably one of the most popular stars of his era, GSP made millions through fights, sponsorship deals, and not to mention his gigs in Hollywood. At number two is former UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov, with a net worth of more than $40 million. Much of it is thanks to Conor McGregor, who turned him into a star by suffering his worst career beating at the Dagestani's hands. At UFC 229, Habib smashed McGregor and rose to unimaginable heights of stardom, earning millions in fight paydays afterward and landing multitudes of sponsorship deals, especially from the Middle East. Number one is Conor McGregor, but you already know that. Thanks to him being arguably the biggest star in combat sports history, McGregor's net worth is more than $100 million, according to The Sun, but it must be a lot higher than the numbers may suggest. Apart from being a successful fighter, McGregor is a successful businessman. The UFC has announced a key welterweight matchup between perennial contender Rafael Dos Anjos and Vicente Luque. Dos Anjos and Luque have agreed to a welterweight fight that will headline UFC Fight Night on July 15th. The card does not have an official location, but it's likely to be in Las Vegas. Dos Anjos has won three of his past four fights, most recently bouncing back into the win column against Brian Barberina whereas Luke Gay is looking to bounce back from a two-fight losing skid. As for Cody Garbrandt, he is booked to face Mario Batista at a UFC event scheduled for August 19th. The former UFC bantamweight champion is looking to improve to two wins in a row after returning to winning ways against Trevin Jones at UFC 285. Batista is currently riding a four-fight winning streak, with his most recent victory coming against Guido Canetti. Who will come out on top when the cage door closes? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. 
If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest happenings in the world of MMA. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.